all welcome back to another video so let's discuss about how to manage scrap in odoo 16 in odoo scrap product is considered as a defective damaged or expired one when a product becomes unfit for selling or for consumption such products are considered as scrap products we can manage the scrap by setting a location so whenever you are setting a particular location for scrap such locations are considered as scrap location you can also set scrap location for different operation. So let's see how can we manage scrap in Odo 60. In order to manage the scrap location in Odo first, under inventory, you need to enable the storage location. For that, let's get into the inventory module. And under configuration settings, we have an option of warehouse. Under that, you can see um, yeah, the storage location. So as you enable the storage location, you will you would be able to manage the locations. So here you can see the locations. Either you can manage the locations directly from the settings of inventory or you can also manage the locations from the configuration menu under warehouse management. So as you choose the uh, location, you can see the location which are currently filtered by internal location. So uh, remove the location uh, filter and you can see all the locations with its location types and when you install the inventory, Odo will automatically generate or create a default scrap location. So let's see how to create a new location. So while you're creating the location, the first step is to give the location name. Here you can set the location name. Um, that is scrap 10 as the location name. You can also set uh, the parent location. You need to set the parent location as virtual location. So um, do not forget to set the parent location as virtual location because scrap location will be considering as the virtual location. And while you are setting the location type here, you need to choose the location type as inventory loss because when a product is damaged, expired or which the products that are not fit for selling or consumption, such pro uh, products will be considered as scrap product. So that are rules for the inventory so in such cases we have to set uh, the location type as inventory rows and if you want to make a particular location as the scrap location you have to enable is a scrap location so once you save this here you can see the location is currently created and uh, if you want to set the removal strategy which means half the product should be removed from your inventory you can set that also so here you can also see we have different removal strategies like first in, first out, last in, first out and closest location and all which we have previously discussed in another video. So if you have any doubts regarding that uh, removal strategy and all, you can watch that video. And um, as you uh, create this location, this location will be visible under uh, the locations that we have already configured and you can manage the scrap location for all of the uh, operations that is currently available. So we will be discussing about uh, certain operations um, that how scraps will be managing. So let's see uh, how we can manage scrap from internal transfer, which means scrapping done within the inventory. This method makes sure that there are no damaged pro products within the inventory. Let me click on to process. So currently we don't have any process and you can click on new. Uh, by filling the details of the customer and you can add the product so you can scrap the product before and after validation of uh, the internal transfer so let me set the quantity as 10 and you can uh, just save this so here uh, when you click on scrap button even without completing the internal transfer you can scrap that product here you need to ensure that you have set the correct scrap location and the product will be moving from its source location. You can set the quantity. And obviously, you will need to choose a product which is mandatory. Because uh, then only we can understand which product we can uh, scrap. So one quantity will be scrapping right now. You can set this into 10. And you will see the magic that one product has or one item has moved from its source location to uh, the scrap location due to some of the reasons such as expired product or damaged products or parts might be missing or uh, like the product um, cannot be recycled. The reason can be anything. Okay. 
now uh, let me back to the same internal uh, transfers and let's see uh, how to scrap the product after validation which means after completing the internal transfer so i have validated the process uh, and if you want to scrap again uh, another quantity you can just uh, click on scrap and just choose the product and the quantity you can just click on done sorry uh, i haven't changed uh, the scrap location so ensure that you have set the correct uh, scrap location actually the product has moved uh, right now under the scrap you can see but uh, the scrap location is different which is a default scrap location that's not actually a problem uh, but you can choose a scrap location that you have created now uh, uh, let's see how we can manage scrap from receipts which means that uh, yeah we can manage the scraps from the incoming shipment since there are a chance for the product to get damaged at the um, uh, stage itself so in such cases, you just navigate into the purchase module and let's create an RFQ. You can fill the details of the vendor and you can just add the product. Let me add the product that is, uh, yeah. Let storage box be the product and you can set the quantity. I'm setting the quantity as 10 and you can just uh, save and confirm the order. Now, in order to scrap this product, first you need to receive the product. So once you uh, receive and validate the process, you can um, set uh, the product into scrap if you want, if the product is damaged or uh, so on. Now let me um, yeah, set one quantity into scrap. So here you can choose the storage location. I mean scrap location. In order to store all these scraps so we have 10 with that and when you back to the scraps you would able to see the product has moved from its source location to the virtual location and now let's see how we can scrap from uh, delivery so scrap from delivery orders means scrap product from outgoing delivery this is very important since the customer should not receive any damaged product at the time of reception Let's navigate into the sales module and under sales module, we can create an order for that. You can choose a customer and yeah, let's set the product by filling the details. Uh, you can choose the product here. Let me choose, um, table as a product and we don't have sufficient quantity so let me first increase the quantity you can set um yeah just save and close this and apply so when you back you can see the on hand quantity is updated yeah now let's back to the quotations so let me demand for um 12 quantity demanding for 12 quantity and you can just confirm the order so here you can see two delivery so because uh, the outgoing shipment is doing in two step and uh, you can scrap the product in i mean you can scrap the product from any of the um, transfer so once you complete the first transfer then only you can move to the second transfer so currently the product is in warehouse uh, look stock and the product will be moving to the warehouse output you can also scrap the products from manufacturing module either you can directly scrap a manufactured product or you can also scrap a product while manufacturing for that you can just get into the manufacturing module and under the manufacturing module go to operations and choose scrap this would allow you to scrap the product so in this window you can see the reference number of the scrap product uh, date product name quantity as well as unit uh, of measurement uh, that is scrapped as well as the company to under which the scrap orders belong to when you click on new you can create uh, a scrap order by choosing the product so let me choose a product as customizable desk and you can scrap the number of quantities that you want so currently i'm setting the quantity as one and if you want to add any source document associated with this you can add that too now you can just save this order and click on validate so that the scrap order will be moving from its scrap state to 10 state and currently under the product moves you will be able to see that 
one quantity of a uh, product that is customizable does which is which is in white color is currently scrapped uh, that's why it's shown as in red color so this means that whenever you scrap a product that will be considered as inventory loss now let's see how can we manage scrap orders uh, from manufacturing orders so when you go to the operations we have manufacturing orders so let me click on create uh, i mean let me create a new manufacturing order for that you can just click on new and here you can either choose a product or you can choose a bill of material so let me choose a bill of material as table so in case of uh, the manufact uh, scrapping the product while manufacturing orders we can scrap the product in two ways either we can complete the manufacturing order and we can scrap the entire product or before uh, validation also you can scrap the product so let me uh, show you both cases that is let me save this manufacturing order so currently we have saved this order and now you can confirm the manufacturing order so as you confirm the manufacturing order now you can um, set the consumed quantities and all and uh, let me create new lotto serial number so we have created a new lotto serial number for this uh, product as well as for the BOM that we are creating and here you can also set the quantities so let me set the consumed quantity uh, 1 and here you can also set it as uh, 4 and after that uh, yeah let's click on save and you can also save this order and uh, click as mark as 10 so once you uh, save that you can see you can scrap the product okay so when you click on scrap here you would be able to see you can scrap the entire product because we have completed the uh, yeah uh, manufacturing so that's why we can only uh, scrap the entire product right now so you can choose the uh, lotto serial number that we have given so the product with this lotto serial number will be scrapping now you can just click on done button so that we have uh, scrapped the product and you would be able to see the scrap movement from its uh, source location to enter location i mean uh, to the scrap location one quantity of the product is moved and the product name also is shown here now let's see how can we scrap a product during manufacturing order so go to operations and you can just choose manufacturing order so let me create a new manufacturing order by choosing a uh, bill of material so let me choose a bill of material as a uh, table so as you choose the bill of material all the components associated with this bill of material will be added here now let's save the manufacturing order and just click on confirm so that you would be able to see now we have just confirmed the manufacturing order but we need to scrap one of the item from this which means we need to scrap one of the components so you just click on scrap so this would let you to choose the product because we haven't then with the manufacturing so you can choose one of the product that to manuf uh, i mean that to scrap so you can choose uh, the product uh, that is stable like with one quantity you need to uh, scrap so just click on done so that you would be able to see that now one quantity of the table leg uh, has scrapped and it has moved from its source location to the scrap location so this is how we manage uh, scraps in manufacturing we have skipped a small portion from the inventory so let's navigate into the inventory module and we can also manage uh, the scrap products directly from the inventory under the operations we can see scrap and if you want to create a scrap product directly which is very similar of uh, the scrap orders that we are creating uh, in the manufacturing order okay so we have skipped uh, this portion so you can see uh, we can add that product that you need to uh, scrap and you can also set the lotto serial number and choose the source location scrap location and if you have any source documents associated with this you can just include that and click on validate and yeah there is a uh, not sufficient quantity available in the stock so first we need to ensure that uh, there is sufficient quantity so just get into the internal link of the product and let's enhance the quantity
now we can validate so you here you can see the product uh, moved with one quantity from the source location to the virtual location of the scrap the effective management of scrap allows you to check the inventory loss so hope this concept is clear for you thank you for watching